Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll talk about how to effectively prioritize DRC debugging using categories in Calibre RVE. I have run a DRC job for a 4-bit error design without generating categories in Calibre RVE lists 154 DRC violations. For a much bigger design, for example, full chip layout, we could expect thousands of DRC violations and fixing them can be frustrating. Manually identifying the errors is time intensive and documenting them can be difficult as well. We notice that under show all we don't get the option of setting categories because we have run a DRC job without generating category. One technique to minimize debug time is to rely on prioritized debugging with the help of categories as already mentioned. They are defined in a CTO which is also called as a check text overwrite file which can be generated just after a DRC job has completed. Let us close this current RVE window and go back to Calibre Interactive where we have all the settings to launch a DRC job. If you don't have a CTO file existing in your current working directory, you can use Calibre Interactive to generate a default CTO file for you. This can be done by going to Outputs, creating a CTO file for these categories. We launch the DRC job again and once it completes, RVE produces the same list of results, but now we can set category and, and notice that this helps us target specific rule checks that we want to debug. You must take notice, however, that we are seeing only two categories, group and layers, and recipe is nowhere to be seen. Let us open a CTO file to understand what is going on between RVE and the CTO file. On my left is a file where I set different rule checks that can be categorized under group, layers or recipes. And here we notice that recipe is missing. I will go ahead and add the category of recipe, save the CTO file and import it again in RVE. Now when we look under the different categories that can be seen, we notice recipe. In a similar manner, we can add or remove checks under each category by adding or deleting them from the file. Let me go ahead and remove some group rule checks from the category and see how it reflects in the RVE results window. I save the CTO file as previously mentioned. Go to tools, import CTO file. And now we notice that the RVE window has the updated set of checks under the category of group. In a similar manner, we can do that to recipes and layers. If you wanted to review how to filter Caliber DRC results by layer, in depth, we have covered it in an earlier video that shows how to visualize these results generated by RVE using categories. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.